Graves there, and welcome to It's Academic. Let's get to our opening round. We start our teams out with 100 points in this opening round. Teams, 10 points for each correct answer, 10 points off should you miss. Our, our category is Off to the Crusades. Yeah, during the Middle Ages, European crusaders tried to conquer and occupy the holy lands of the Middle East. Please identify the following, all connected with the Crusades. We begin. In July of 1099, the first crusade captured this holy city. Yeah, Oakland Mills. Jerusalem. Jerusalem, you got it, Ryan. Next, the third crusade included this English king called the Lionhearted. Perry Hall. Richard. Richard, indeed. Absolutely, Ethan. Next, the greatest Muslim leader opposing the crusades was this 12th century sultan. His name was Saladin. Next, the Second Crusade failed to capture this capital of Syria. Howard. Damascus. Damascus. You got it, Tyler. Next, in 1212, this pathetic crusade was led by boys named Stephen and Nicholas. Yeah, Oakland Mills. The Children's Crusade. Yeah, nicely done, Ryan. The Children's Crusade it is. And next, crusading ruler Frederick I had this nickname, meaning Red Bearded. That was Frederick Barbarossa. Next, the Crusades are the setting for the talisman by this author of Ivanhoe. That was Walter Scott. And lastly, the Pope who started the Crusades had this name suggesting cities. <phone rings> Howard. Urban. Uh, urban. That's right. Tyler says, say urban. <laughs> urban it is. Nice to <laughs> Leading the world. Yes, yes, we've got a lion in the studio today, but he's not very menacing. That's the mascot of the Howard School. It's so nice to have you here on It's Academic today. We've been sponsored for over 50 years by Giant Food and now Morgan State University as well. We've got a wonderful audience here today. I think everyone's got a sign up there for their favorites up here. Nine great players. Let's meet the first three. They hail from Perry Hall. And Ethan, nice to have you back after a two-year hiatus. And Jess and Mira, nice to have you here for the very first time. Jess, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Hi, I'm Jess. I'm a 15-year-old sophomore at Perry Hall High School. In addition to its academic, I'm a part of FBLA and Psychology Club. I'd like to thank our coaches, Mr. Allen and Dr. Milstein. Wonderful. They appreciate that, and they'll come up a little bit later in the program. Thanks, Jess. Ethan, tell us about yourself. Hi, my name's Ethan Kincaid. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Perry Hall. Um, besides its academic, I'm the president of French Honor Society and vice president of Science Honor Society, as well as participating in mock trial. I'd like to thank all our friends and family for coming out to support us. You have a lot of them out there. You're a busy young man. I like your Maryland tie, too. Mira, welcome to you. Hi, I'm Mira. I'm a 15-year-old sophomore at Perry Hall High. In addition to its academic, I'm a part of Key Club Student Council and National Honor Society. I would also like to thank Ms. Watkins for coming out today. And who is she? Assistant Principal. Wonderful. She'll be up in a few moments. Thank you, Mira. All right, Mary Hall, these are yours. Look at the monitor. 20 points, no penalty. Should you miss, we begin. My mother, I esteem. Unfortunately, your mother can't help you find in this phrase the name of what New York State Canal opened in 1825. Buried in there is the Erie Canal, E-R-I-E. -E. Next, four words, sleazy, listless, stratified, and lethargic. Which two of these words can be paired as synonyms? Um, sleazy and stratified? Uh, actually, lethargic and listless are the synonyms. Next, thousands enjoy opening games. This headline might have run in a Roman newspaper in the year 80 AD when the construction of what amphitheater was completed? The uh, Colosseum. Yes, sir. Nicely done. Here's a choice among fluorine, toluene, and iodine. Which one of these is not one of the halogen elements? Toluene. Say it again. Toluene. Toluene it is, absolutely. And lastly, here before God, I consecrate my life to the destruction of slavery. These were the words of what abolitionist who was executed for leading the 1859 raid on Harper's Ferry? John Brown. Nicely done. Okay, Perry Hall. Thank you to 170. 
All right, good way to start our game. We move to our second team. They hail from Howard High School. And yeah, guys, we got that dark suit memo going on here today. <laughs> you guys look good. Jonathan and Devin and Tyler and uh, all here for the first time. Yeah, I know a couple of you have been in the stands before. Now they yes. called you up to the majors, huh? <laughs> all right, Jonathan, tell us about yourself. Hi, my name is Jonathan Kim. I'm a sophomore at Howard High School. And in addition to its academic, I'm a member of our school's coding club and math, math team. Good. All right. Uh, scholarly guy over there. Devin, tell us about yourself. Hi, my name is Devin Wiley. I'm a seventh field senior at Howard High School. And I'd like to thank Coach Dr. Bowling for being here. Wonderful. We'll be up in a few moments and know how proud he is of all of you guys. Yes. And Tyler, you're a freshman, aren't you? Yeah, welcome to the show. Hi, my name is Tyler Wynn. I'm a freshman at Howard High School. And in addition, it's academic. I like, I'm, I like to play tennis and I'm in the concert band. Wonderful. What instrument do you play? I play the B-flat clarinet. Very good. All right. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, look at the monitor, please. These questions are for you. 20 points, no penalties. We begin. A NASCAR terminal. This phrase seems to refer to auto racing, but if you look carefully, you can find the hidden name of what Democratic president elected in 1976. Carter. All right. He's got a fan over there. Next, four words. Disparage, belittle, delegate, and befriend. Which of these four words are synonyms? Which two? Disparage and belittle. Absolutely. Well done. Our loss is London's gain. When Shakespeare left home for London in 1585, you might have read this headline in the local gazette of what town on the Avon River? That's Stratford on Avon. Next, here's a choice among the Justice Department, the Commerce Department, and the Interior Department. Gentlemen, our national parks are under the jurisdiction of which of these cabinet departments? It's the third one. The third one. The third one, Interior. It is. Absolutely. And lastly, he rose like a rocket and he fell like a stick. This taunting remark describing British statesman Edmund Burke was written by what Revolutionary War pamphleteer who wrote Common Sense? Thomas Paine. Nicely done, gentlemen. 200 points. All right, we move to our third team. They hail from Oakland Mills High School. And Ryan, this is your fourth time on the show. You're a real veteran here, and you brought two neophytes with you, right? Mason and Galen, nice to have all three of you guys here with us today. Mason, tell us the Mason story. I am Mason Vanderhei. I am part of our school. I am a 16-year-old junior at Oakland Mills High School. I am part of the DECA team as well as our robotics team. Wonder, what's a DECA team? DECA is a, a business club at our school. Very good. All right. Uh, thanks for sharing that with us. Ryan, welcome back. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Oakland Mills, and in addition to its academic, I'm a member of the tennis team. I'm vice president of the National Honor Society, and I'm a life scout. Wow. Uh, congratulations on that. Close to Eagle? Yes. Keep at it. And Galen, tell us about yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Galen Daniels. Uh, I'm a 16-year-old uh, uh, sophomore at Oakland Mills High School. Um, I like math, science, history, and other than this, I do the gaming club at our school. And I'd like to thank Mr. Rutter for doing this academic He's club. He's a great guy. He appreciates that. Thanks for mentioning him. And welcome to the show, Galen. Gentlemen, look at your monitor. These are for you. 20 points, no penalties. Cherub art on walls. Don't be distracted by artwork, but study this phrase and find the hidden name of what woman who founded the American Red Cross? Barton. Barton it is, Clara Barton, well done. Infer, revile, castigate, and defend. Which two of these words can be used as synonyms? Revile and castigate. Nicely done, yes. Earth orbits the sun. A 1512 newspaper might have run this headline when what Polish astronomer announced his heliocentric theory? Galileo. Uh, actually, Copernicus. Copernicus. Good try. Next, here's a choice among the North Pole, the Great Barrier Reef, and the Bay of Fundy. Robert Perry and Matthew Henson made headlines in 1909 when they became the first to reach which of these geographical spots? The North Pole. Yes, indeed. And lastly, our country has undertaken a great social and economic experiment. This statement by Herbert Hoover referred to what social experiment set forth in the 18th Amendment and later repealed by the 21st Amendment. Prohibition. Yes, indeed. Well done, Mr. Hill. With 200 points.
get a high five from that lion. Welcome back, everyone. You know, today's winning team moves on in our competition, but nobody is going home empty handed. That's because the Baltimore Orioles are once again proud to academic. They'll be providing tickets next season for the students on today's show. You know, celebrating the success of our young people makes us all fans. To find out more about the Orioles' involvement in education and the lives of youth in our community, why don't you visit them? Go to OriolesReach.com. I got wet. Before you go to the ballpark, check us out on our Facebook page. It's academicquizshow.com. And before we ask any more questions, let's check that score. Close game. Perry Hall right now at 170. Howard at 200. And Oakland Mills also at 200. picture perfect round. Everybody plays. There's a picture with each of these questions. 20 points for each correct answer. 20 points should you miss. First picture coming into view. Though beavers average between three and four feet in length, they belong to what same order of mammals as the much smaller rats? Howard? Rodents. Rodents is right. Thank you, Tyler, for your help on that. Clouds that thunder do not always rain. Here you have an optimistic proverb from what country where Yerevan is the capital. That's the nation of Armenia. Next, victorious at the Alamo? This is what Mexican general who was defeated several weeks. Yes, Perry Hall. Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Well done, Ethan. Next, what's the distance between these two points? Howard. Seven. 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 Seven it is. Thank you, Jonathan. Next. This valley is named for what French explorer who discovered and named the lake on the Vermont, Vermont, New York border? That's Lake Champlain. Next. Here you have what 18th century British scientist who discovered oxygen? That man is Joseph Priestley. Next, here's a choice among water, kerosene, and chlorine gas. Sodium may be safely stored in which of these media? Where would you put it, Oakland Mills? Water. Uh, not water. Kerosene was the right answer there. Good try. Last picture coming up. This highly magnified object is an example of what type of hard, icy precipitation that sometimes accompanies a thunderstorm? Perry Hall. Hail. Hail it is. All right. That's the end of the picture. Perfect round. We'll be right back. and administrators who are now arrayed behind the teams. Let's meet them right now. Let's go to Perry Hall right now with 210 points. And Ethan, you brought everybody today. Who do you have back there? On my right, we have our coach, Mr. Allen. Behind me, we have our other coach, Dr. Milstein. And then on my left is our assistant principal, Ms. Watkins. Wow. Thank you all for being here today and for the support you give to these young people. Next move to Howard, currently in the lead with 240 points. And Devin, some familiar guys back there. Tell us who they are. On my right is Assistant Principal Mr. Sackett. On my left is Coach Dr. Bowley. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here today. You got that dark suit memo, too, didn't you? Next, we move to Oakland Mills, currently with 180 points. And Ryan, would you do the honors? Behind us is our coachman, Mr. Rutter. The one and only, absolutely. Thank you, sir, for all your support over the years. You know, in our next round of questions, should our teams enter all eight of our questions correctly, we award them 25 bonus points and we make a big fuss. We light up lights, we release balloons, and you can see the lights flashing in front of Devin over there. So, Devin, would you be good enough to pick packet one, two, or three for the Perry Hall team? Three. Three it is. All right, Jess and Ethan and Mira, let's get all eight of these. Here we go. To unlock a store of natural treasures from the island south of Miami, you might use what small metal object that describes Florida's Largo, Biscayne, and West. Key. Key, that's right. It was what Frenchman, blind since the age of three, who devised a system of raised dots to enable the blind to read. That's Louis Braille. Louis Braille. Next, if someone gave you a nephoscope, you could use it to track what kind of phenomena often seen in nimbo stratus forms. Lightning. Clouds. Clouds. 
Here's a science question for you. Look at your monitor. The age of organic matter can be determined by measuring the amount of a radioactive isotope of what element that serves as a standard for atomic weights? Carbon? Carbon it is, yes. New Englanders still throw snowballs, but not with the impact of those thrown in 1770 when a snowball fight triggered what Boston tragedy? Boston Massacre. Massacre, that's it. Thank you, Jess, for your help on that one. Shakespeare scholars believe that an actor named John Sinclo created the role of the apothecary in what tragedy about two star-crossed young lovers? Romeo and Juliet. That's it. Math question for you. If you look at your monitor, if Y has the value of 2, what's the value of X? Uh, 1. Uh, four was the right answer there. Last question for you in this round. Described by Wikipedia as an English privateer, navigator, slave trader, politician, and civil engineer, what Elizabethan sea dog sailed on the Golden Hind? That was Francis Drake. Francis Drake. That's the end of the round. Henry Hall, 290 points. All right, we didn't give away the bonus points that time. It might happen for Howard. Ryan, one or two for Howard? One. Let's give him one. All right. All right, guys. Jonathan, Devin, Tyler, I want to see some balloons here, all right? I want you to get all eight of these. Here we go. The Tbilisi Mountains in North Africa don't attract a lot of tourists since they're located in what largest desert? Sahara. That's it. Called the missing link between stars and planets, celestial bodies called brown dwarfs have now been identified by what space telescope launched in 1990? Hubble. Yes, sir. Explorer Zebulon Pike was piqued in 1806 when he was arrested by the Spanish in what future capital of New Mexico? Santa Fe. Santa Fe, that's it. Thanks again, Tyler. Science question for you, gentlemen. Look at your monitor. If you thaw frozen carbon dioxide under normal pressure, it does not become liquid, but instead goes directly to the gaseous state, a phenomenon called which of these? The second one. The second one. He didn't want us to have to pronounce it. Sublimation, you got it. Next. A free press was not a priority for what journalist who made news as Italy's fascist dictator before and during World War II? Mussolini. It is Benito Mussolini. Next, if she were honored posthumously, Mary Shelley might be given a degree for science fiction for writing what masterpiece of horror? Frankenstein. Frankenstein it is. Math question, guys. On your monitor, what's the value of this expression? Giving your answer as a positive integer, please. 36. It is 36. And I have one more question. Get this right. I give you 25 bonus points and we make a big fuss. Here we go. It was President John Adams who appointed what Chief Justice who would later preside over the historic Marbury versus Madison case? Marshall. The correct answer is John Marshall. Four, 25. Yeah. I told you when you got balloons and even the line was out there. He was getting crazy. All right, one packet left, packet two for Oakland Mills. All right, Ryan and Mason and Galen, I want to see you do the same thing. Let's get all eight of these. Here we go. Though he sometimes sailed for the Dutch, what explorer was sailing under the English flag when he discovered and named Canada's largest bay? Hudson. Hudson is right. It's a shame there were no TV cameras around in 1211 when England's King John signed what historic document limiting his royal powers? The Magna Carta. Magna Carta is it. Yes, sir. In the year 2000, the remains of three legendary cities were discovered in what sea separating Europe from Africa? Mediterranean. Mediterranean. You got it, Mason. Gentlemen, look at your monitor for this science question. Which of these elements is the heaviest? Uranium. It is uranium. Nicely done, Galen. Next, George Washington get, didn't get a driver's license when he was 17, but he did get a license to practice what profession involving measurement? C cartography. 
Ooh, good try. Surveying. Surveying it was. Nice try. Next. Though not in the dictionary, the word, the word Silmarillion titles a book by what author who said it was a prequel to his books about hobbits and Middle Earth? Tolkien. Tolkien it is. Math question for you guys. Look at your monitor. What's the value of x in this equation? 29. It is 29. Last question for you in this round. During the War of 1812, a ban on clothing made in Britain was urged by what Kentucky statesman who later stitched together the Compromise of 1850? That man was Henry Clay. Henry Clay. That's the end of the round. For 300 points. should get ready for another year of Giants A-plus school rewards program. You can earn points and help local schools every time you use your Giant card. Giant has been able to award over $96 million to thousands of schools since 1989 and has already committed $2 million to this year's program. Signing up for your Giant card is easy. Simply go to GiantFood.com or stop by the Customer Solutions Center at any Giant store. Experience the magic of A-plus school rewards each time you shop and help your local schools. Anybody's game, let's check those scores right now. Perry Hall is at 290 points. Howard is at 425, and Oakland Mills at 300. Well done. In this final round, questions for 20 points up or down. The visuals for 30 points. 30 points off should our teams miss. Teams, good luck. We begin. Because the team's name is so long, only an abbreviated version of it appears on the uniforms of what Arizona Major League Baseball team? Howard! Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks, that's right. Next. A year after a year of mourning, a $90 million funeral was held for King Pomipon in what Asian country where Bangkok is the capital? Howard. Thailand. Thailand it is. Leonardo da Vinci designed a huge equestrian statue, but he was unable to complete it because of the difficulty of casting it in what alloy of copper and tin? Yeah, Oakland Mills. Bronze. Bronze. Bronze it is. I got that in stereo. I like that. 30 points. Everybody look at your monitors. Frederick Douglass once served as a U.S. envoy to what French-speaking Caribbean country? Yes, Perry Hall. Haiti. Haiti. Nicely done, Ethan. Name for the Italian city where she was born, what English woman gained international acclaim as a nurse in the Crimean War? Yeah, Howard. Nightingale. Yes, nicely done, Tyler. Andrew Jackson often let people overrun the White House, but his own house in Tennessee had what name suggesting its owner liked to be alone. It's called the Hermitage. Next, because it weighs about 11% more than normal H2O, deuterium oxide is commonly known by what two-word name? That's heavy water. Look at your monitors. It takes two to be glad. This heartwarming quotation comes from what Norwegian playwright, author of The Master Builder and A Doll's House. Perry Hall. Ibsen. Ibsen. Well done, Jess. Next, in square inches, what's the total surface area of a cube, which is four inches on a side? Yes, Howard. Ninety-six. Ninety-six. Thank you, Jonathan. And that buzzer says, our game is over. We will be right back. Don't go away. And our scores are now official. Our first congratulations with 320 points to team from Oakland Mills. Next with 340, what a game they had. The team from Perry Hall, Ethan Mira, and Jess. And with 505, the Lion Roars. Today's winner, Howard, Jonathan, Devin, and Tyler. Join us next week for Appleton, Catonsville, and Thomas Johnson on another edition of It's Academic. I'm Dave Zarin, and I hope to see you then. Audience, come on down.